Arsene Wenger revolutionised Arsenal Football Club and football as a whole. His approach to management helped advance the use of scouting, youth development and training throughout the biggest clubs in the world. His legacy is nothing short of untouchable with the highlights including the invincible season of 2003-2004 and consistency of competing at the very top of English football. It has now been 16 years since that famous side lifted their gold Premier League title and two seasons since he stepped down as manager of the Gunners. And while Wenger's titles and achievements remain a distant memory, his philosophies most certainly live on within the club. Most importantly, the emphasis he put on youth development. And the club is still aiming to bring prospects to the academy side and develop their own into serviceable pieces. That responsibility is now in the hands of Wenger's former players, a lot of whom now have coaching roles within the club and it's on them to continue to give opportunities to the youth best positioning them to succeed in the future. And in just the last few seasons, Arsenal have given debuts to several young players, one of the more notable ones being Bukayo Saka, the subject of today's video whose career will be taking a deeper look at, while giving a detailed analysis on how good he is and how good he can become in the future. So for more consistent football content, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and let me know what young player you want to see me cover next down below in the comments. So Bakayo Saka was born September 5th 2001 in Greater London, starting his footballing career with the same club he represents today, as he consistently impressed as he went through the youth stages at Arsenal. At just 17 he was given a contract and played with the under 18 side where he would pick up 6 goals and 5 assists in 14 appearances during the under 18 Premier League season which led to him making a further 5 appearances for England's under 17 side. The following season Saka's talent was recognised as he was moved to the under 23s to play the bulk of the season, where he would net 14 goals and assist 10 in all competitions, seriously making his mark in the Arsenal academy despite being just 17 years old. In 2018 Saka made his Arsenal debut as a substitute in the Europa League before earning his first start in December 2018. This series of impressive performances set up Saka to begin his breakthrough to the first team side, and with Arsenal failing to qualify for the Champions League, their group stage games in the Europa League acted as the perfect time for the youngsters to prove their worth. This was exactly what Saka did, picking up two assists and scoring in Arsenal's first game against Frankfurt, which kickstarted a run of Premier League appearances against Aston Villa and Manchester United where he would assist Arsenal's equalising goal. Saka would again perform against Liverpool in the 5-all FA Cup game, where he assisted yet another goal. And despite Mikel Arteta replacing Unai Emery as manager of the club, this wasn't a setback for Saka in any way, as in his next Europa League outing, he scored and assisted yet again. Despite favouring a position on the wing, Saka throughout his young career has featured as a fullback. And when summer signing Kieran Tierney went down with injury, Saka was issued the responsibility to consistently start in Tierney's absence. A young Saka embraced the challenge and would quickly make the position his own, becoming the only bright spot in a notoriously shaky Arsenal backline. Nonetheless, Saka's continued to perform individually, holding his own defensively and always looking to overlap the winger going forward, leading to more goals and assists. In the FA Cup against Bournemouth, he won goal of the round for this strike right here. Tinelli to Saka. Fantastic goal from young Bakaya Saka. It's his third of the season. And Saka went on to tally more assists from the fullback position versus Olympiacos and Everton. And most famously, this viral moment right here against Newcastle. <laughs> The second half of this season Saka was really on a roll, however was stopped in his tracks due to a pandemic completely out of his control. So these unforeseen circumstances beg the question as to what happens to Saka from here. You'd assume that summer signing Kieran Tierney, when healthy, will be taking back the left back position. Though not without some disgruntled fans who believe Saka's run of form at left back is worthy to bench the Scotsman. However, it is certainly understandable why Arteta would favour Tierney, not only due to his experience but pressure from the board to play the man they invested £25 million in. But don't mistake this as an insult in any way to Saka, who was beginning to see some more minutes on the wing, his favoured position anyways, where he was still consistently producing goals and assists all the same, proving to be a decisive player in each of those games. The fact he was capable enough to step into a less favourable position and not put a foot wrong 
speaks volumes to Saka's potential. As a player he has all the attributes to be a modern winger, a burst of pace alongside composed quick feet and a pinpoint delivery, all at just 18 years old. The fact he can even perform in multiple positions shows an awareness and knowledge of the game well beyond his years. So what happens next? The signs indicate Saka's true potential could be wasted in a defensive role, because at fullback his creativity in the final third would be somewhat compromised. However, if his priority is playing as many minutes as possible, as soon as possible, he is probably better off going toe to toe with Kieran Tierney, fighting for the starting left back position. With Arsenal always being keen to promote their youth, Saka's in a good spot to develop as a player, and rumours of starman Aubameyang departing could allow Saka to move up into a starting position further forward. However, with contract negotiations approaching, I wouldn't rule out the possibility that Saka could leave and become a guaranteed starter elsewhere. For me though, the more likely scenario is he's looking to be recognised for his worth, with speculation surrounding a contract that could be worth 120 grand a week. Not bad for an 18 year old. But while the immediate future looks uncertain for Saka and his club, the one thing I don't doubt is that Saka is going to be playing at a high level for the foreseeable future, more than likely in English football. Yes, as shown earlier in the video, he's been compared to Cristiano Ronaldo, but Michael Owen the sports pundit isn't Michael Owen the footballer. What his word is worth is up to you. But I think we can expect to see him involved with the Arsenal team for several more years, though it is equally as likely that we see him develop into your ordinary Premier League starter and eventually end up playing for a club outside of the top six. I want you guys to let me know your thoughts and feedback down below in the comment section. Who between Saka and Gabriel Martinelli, someone I'm going to be making a video on soon, is Arsenal's best young prospect? Let me know who you think's better out of those two down below in the comments. Comment Saka's a gunner so I can tell the reels apart from the fake who made it up to the end. Subscribe to the channel for more football content. On that note, we're signing out in peace.